How's it going everybody? This is Top of Drop. I hope you're having a great day and welcome back to another video. All right, for this one, I'm going to be talking about crumble cookies. Yes, it is obviously my dessert obsession. And I'm going to share with you a little bit about my thoughts on this chain ever since I first started tasting their cookies last December. It's been a year now since I started tasting crumble cookies and I really have become a fan of them. So I'm going to share with you what I think about them, my thoughts on all of their cookies so far and what I think is their best cookies. Along with what I think they can do to really become a real premier cookie chain. Now, absolutely, as you all know, that cookies is one of the most popular forms of desserts and treats there is in this world. Obviously, you know me, I'm usually a fan of Oreos, I'm usually a fan of Chips Ahoy. Heck, sometimes whenever I go to a bakery in my grocery store, I usually sometimes have some of their soft baked cookies there as well. But you know what? Ever since I first learned about crumble cookies on social media early last fall, I felt like that at some point, I really wanted to take a shot at them. And so I felt like that I learned a little bit more about them before I took their stab at their cookies in December last year. So for those that don't know or have never tried crumble cookies before, crumble cookies is a cookie chain that was first formed back in 2017 in Utah. Now this is a chain that specializes in huge soft baked cookies and not just any sort of cookies, you know, obviously big cookies with different kinds of flavors. You know, usually every single week their menus would usually rotate. So usually with the the exception of their chocolate chip cookies, usually there would be five new flavors every single week. And this will usually happen every single week. So usually it will keep you really on the edge of your seat to figure out what the new lineup of cookies would be for every single week. And I think that's exactly why Crumble Cookies continues to become so popular every single year. There are over 850 Crumble Cookie stores in the United States right now and the world. And of course, the one that I usually go to is at the Route 22 in Union, New Jersey. And so after looking at a whole bunch of their videos and all that stuff, I felt like in December of last year, why not go ahead and finally start trying their cookies for the very first time. And so that's exactly what I did in mid-December. I went out, I got myself their first batch of crumble cookies, and I literally did a video reviewing every single one of them, which I gave my initial thoughts on them. In fact, I'll leave the link in the description below if you want to check that out. But yeah, as I mentioned before, it was definitely a good lineup. It was what first got me into crumble cookies at first, but I really want to see exactly within the next few menus that I tried to see exactly whether or not it was the real deal and to see whether or not this is, in my opinion, the best cookie chain in America. And ladies and gentlemen, a year later, my thinking has been affirmed. Yes, it is. Obviously, this chain became popularized as a result of TikTok. And because of that, over the last few years, we started seeing a whole lot of commercials and obviously a lot more popularity in regards to this restaurant chain. And really, I can see why, because I have recently become a fan of this chain and really every single menu there's always like one or two new cookies that are on their menus every single week that i've really just become a fan of and literally they are all so good that it literally keeps me coming back for more every single week in fact it's odd that i even say that because obviously ever since that week that I first tried crumble cookies last year every single week since then i've always went to get their newest lineup of cookies every single week and literally there's usually about like four or five Five new ones that go along with their chocolate chip. Obviously, a lot of things have rotated ever since then, but every single week I've done a review on my social media in regards to every single one of the cookies that I've tasted. And usually it will be a new one that really takes the cake at the top of the list. And usually your usual suspects that a fruit start to die out every once in a while will really end up being at the bottom. But sometimes that can change depending on what the lineup is every single week. And I just love all of them. You know, every single review that I've done, it's really because I've just just come to love this chain. I just feel like that, you know, like every single one of their soft baked cookies, you know, with their brand new flavors that they come out every single week and the rotating lineup, it really keeps you in suspense in regards to what they might pull every single week. Heck, even now, we still have brand new flavors that have never been released before by Crumble Cookies on the menu every single week. And literally, they taste just as better as the ones that were tasted before. And yeah, if you ask me what my favorite cookies are from Crumble Cookies at this point, I don't have one. I love all of them. I mean, there were a few exceptions. Like for example, you know, a classic pink sugar, you know, that really doled out after a little while. And thank 
goodness, that's not on the menu anymore. But ever since then, you know, there are a few cookies that I will try there from cookies that have really did not give me the kind of satisfaction that I would have wanted. But, you know, I still tried them and, you know, it, it, it was all right. But there are still a whole bunch of cookies, mostly otherwise, that have just become really, really good. They tasted it really well. And most of the time, they are just impressive. So, yeah, I've enjoyed almost all of the lineups that I've tasted so far, with the exception of a slight couple of them. But otherwise, they are great cookies. I definitely feel like that they are a lot better than, you know, the usually bakery, soft baked cookies. And I definitely feel like that they should take a lesson from crumble cookies. Because if you really want to make a great batch of cookies that have really unique flavors, crumble cookies is definitely that place that you really want to copy off of. Now, obviously, in regards to what I would like to see, obviously, you know, number one, obviously, they got rid of the classic pink sugar. You know, that's obviously good. The other thing is, obviously, you have to have the chocolate chip every single week. I mean, obviously, it's the most popular cookie there is in the world. But the fact that they recently rotated it to include either the regular milk chocolate chip or the semi-sweet chocolate chip every single week, I definitely like that. I definitely feel like that it's really a good way to be able to mix around that flavor to look like it's almost new every week, even though we usually see it like every two weeks or so, while keeping it in line with all the other new flavors that we are seeing on the menu every single week. I definitely like that, and I definitely think that it should continue. One of my big concerns, though, is the price level for it. I mean, usually just to get one whole six-pack of all six of the brand new cookies, it's like $24, which I definitely feel like may be a little too expensive, in my opinion, in regards to, you know, just getting a box full of them. Obviously, I don't want to know exactly how much bigger they are whenever you get like a 12-pack and all like that. That's actually like $48, which is really big. However, I definitely feel like that the prices should drop just a little bit. I'm not saying it should be by that much, but maybe like, you know, like maybe like $20 or $18 for a six-pack of cookies, something like that. Maybe even less of that, because I definitely feel like at times at $24 for six really big new flavors of cookies, I definitely feel like it's a little expensive for some to afford. So I definitely like to see, you know, a little bit of a drop in prices from there at some point in the near future. Another thing, I would like to see Crumble Cookies like do some polls over every single week. You know, maybe pull all those that follow their chain on social media, you know, ask them like what they want to see out of them. You know, like for example, like maybe for like one poll, you can list a bunch of different kinds of flavors that they have never tried before that they would like to try to release at some point. And they would poll to their followers to see exactly, you know, like, which one of them they would like to see on the menu next week. Heck, maybe even on one poll, where they would like to see the next Crumble Cookie store open up at. Or maybe what old flavor that hasn't been on the menu in a while, they would like to see back on the menu. Look, they have a lot of fans that follow Crumble Cookies, and I'm one of them especially. And I definitely like to see, you know, exactly what would be put on the menu every single week. But I definitely feel like that the fans should have their say in regards to what they want to see on their weekly lineup. So, you know, I really would like to see Crumble Cookies give the fans an opportunity to dictate what the next week's lineup would usually be. You know, obviously, it's important to really finalize it, but giving the fans an opportunity to decide what cookies they want to see next on the menu, it really helps bring a better opportunity to really promote your brand to your customers. Finally, I just want to see them continue to build on all of their successes. You know, ever since they first opened in 2017, Crumble Cookies has really elevated their cookie making game to a whole nother level. And a lot of that obviously has to do with TikTok, but you know, even without that, they have still managed to really make a whole bunch of great cookies for everybody around the world to enjoy. And because of that, they have continued to expand everywhere around the country and around the world. Now, would they still be as popular today if TikTok wasn't around? To be honest with you, I have no idea. But still, the fact that they were able to achieve this much success despite being so young as a cookie chain, it just feels so good to see them have the success that they have right now. But at some point, you know, there are going to be other cookie chains that are definitely going to be working over them, you know, maybe trying to see exactly what they didn't copy off of. So I would really like to see, you know, what they can find from other cookie chains. Like usually like other cookie chains would usually do. See what they do that they think might be popular with them that they haven't tried yet, or maybe it's not working with them. And maybe try to see if they can formulate with that. You know, try something new every single week. I definitely feel like that the more they keep mixing things up, and you know, the more that they really try new things, I definitely feel like that as long as it all works out, they can really elevate their cookie game to the next level. And I definitely would like to see that at some point within the near future. So yeah, obviously that's just my take on crumble cookies. I have become a fan of crumble cookies over the last year. Every single week, I've tried every single one of their new menus and I'll definitely continue to do that until my passion for crumble cookies dies down. But still, this cookie chain is for real. I have become such a big fan of that chain and I really feel like that if you have never been to crumble cookies before, if you have the opportunity to do so, you have to go try them out. This cookie chain is the real 
deal. I mean, obviously you work it up on your map. You might be able to find one within the next few meters or so. I was able to find one at my Route 22 in Union, New Jersey, obviously. But still, you know, crumble cookies is here to stay and it's going to be here for a long time. And so as long as they continue to do what they do, trust me, crumble cookies is going to be a cookie chain that will continue to revolutionize the cooking world. All right, so that's my take on crumble cookies a year after I first started them. So I would really like to hear from you. Those that have tried crumble cookies before and those that have become big fans of it, what do you think about this cookie chain? Do you think that it is the top cookie chain in America and around the world? And also, what is your favorite cookie from Crumble Cookies that you have tried? Feel free to let me know down in the comments world. I'll be more interested in hearing your opinions about it. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. As always, if you'd like to see more of my content, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know my latest video is released. Comment below for future suggestions for all my videos, whether it's blogs, projects, or challenges, you name it. Leave it in the comments world. I'll do my best to make them. And as always, follow me on my social media all the links are in the description below. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you're having another great day. As always, I hope to see you all again in another video very soon. So long, everybody.